you have a MacBook Pro uh, like I do, I have a brand new one, and you own the Ozbot, or I'm sorry, I should say Obsbot. I always say Ozbot, but it's Obsbot. Uh, remote for the uh, controlling the camera with the remote control. When I got mine and plugged it in, it didn't do anything. It was moving like the window up and down a little bit, but it wasn't controlling the camera. And I had the right obsbot to find out how to properly configure it. Because almost everything I saw online just showed it automatically connecting with no problems. But that didn't happen for me. So what you have to do to connect this is come down here to your system settings. And then you want to go from your system settings to privacy and security. <clears throat> but then even here, the uh, section you need to then go to is this input monitoring. And then you have to turn on right here this OBSBOT webcam. Now, for some reason, when I went to privacy and security settings, let me go back one here. Originally, <clears throat> this input monitoring didn't show. And what I had to do was search for it. So I put input monitoring up here. Hit search. And that was when it found it for me, and then I was able to go into input monitoring and enter it. So if you don't see it in your list of selections, just search for it, and it'll probably come up. And then once I did that, my Osbot remote control worked perfectly with my um, Mac. Now, I did have to close the software out and restart it. Uh, and I've noticed that like sometimes when you mess with it, if it's not working and not responding, that's the, the best thing you can do is just uh, close it out, reopen it, and then uh, that usually fixes everything. And then you will uh, see your remote, remote control actually controlling the Ozbot. Um, and actually, let's, uh, let me see if I'll turn mine on here. Open this here where it gives you the image view with the Ozbot software and you record something, it records in this format here. See this MKV? Now, I don't know what that format is, but I will tell you this. The MacBook doesn't like it. So to record on the Mac so that you can see your videos and in a format that it does like, you want to close this out. You want to make sure your video preview window is closed out. And you want to open uh, Photo Booth works, works just fine. So I'm just going to hit uh, Siri here. Siri, open Photo Booth. There's my Photo Booth. Now, you want to make sure you're on video. And you want to make sure that that camera is enabled. So I'm going to go to, this is FaceTime here. So that's using the Max camera. And now I'm going to go to my Oz, OBSBOT. And there's my OBSBOT camera. And you can see I can control it. I can zoom in. I can zoom out. And it's really great having this remote is like, uh, kind of like having a camera operator. Um, if you're having to film yourself and you can see right now this obsbot is uh, tracking me now I have a knife sharpening business and I uh, sometimes do videos uh, related to uh, knife sharpening and I will use this as you can see to sometimes film what I'm doing and so right now it's just it's tracking me sorry I have the shop a little dark in here let me turn some of the lights on um, but it's an amazing little camera. It really does a nice job of tracking. Uh, I've used it for um, Zoom calls. And that's just the main thing there. Just make sure that you close out 
this uh, software right here, make sure that that uh, that this view that you get through Ozbot is closed out. Now, if your camera doesn't come up for some reason, close this. You can close this software out completely and just reopen it, and it usually is fine with whatever application uh, that you're using it with. But love the uh, remote. Um, I'll show you it here. The the other thing that you, it's a little. Uh, weird to get used to but you do kind of pick it up real quickly is that um, I kind of want to point this at the camera all the time but the it's a little dongle that's plugged into the computer so it works better if you point the remote towards your laptop or wherever your computer is and not pointing it at the camera uh, the dongle isn't in the camera the dongle is actually plugged into a USB port on the on the on my uh, MacBook but uh, that's the Osbot camera. I really love it. Um, and once I was able to get the uh, remote control worked out, it's been a lot more useful to me doing uh, demonstration type video things because now I'll just show you, um, I can turn the uh, camera wherever I wanted. So I wanted to, uh, and if I wanted to stop tracking, I can just turn off tracking. And now it's under my complete control and I'm just going to show you here. I can zoom in on something and have it, you know, on a specific thing that I'm showing. And it just works really nice. So because the it's great for web conferencing and stuff, but if you're doing like presentation type things, the remote control to me is kind of a must because otherwise it uh, wants to just kind of track me and keep me in frame all the time which is great if I'm doing a web conferencing thing. Now watch, I'll hit track again. And now it locked back on me. And now wherever I go, it will track me. And then there's even uh, other selections in here, as you can see. Uh, this is making it give me uh, some extra headroom in the shot, which is nice for certain uh, times. If I want standard, it will now uh, not, I, I guess not, try and keep as much headroom necessarily. And then there's a motion for like, if you're doing like a presentation or uh, dancing or stuff like that, they show that uh, this tracks a little faster. So if there's a lot of movement going on, this uh, gives the camera ability to move faster. But it, it's truly the, the most amazing little webcam I've ever seen. And now that I got the uh, remote part figured out, I'm really, really happy with it. And I think uh, you guys will like it too if uh, if this is the kind of thing you're looking for. Picture's fantastic. It's 4K, uh, of, or uh, 4,000 K, and um, it, it really looks good. One last thing I do want to add too. <clears throat> if you have a uh, MacBook like me, my brand new Mac uh, Pro only came with two lightning ports. And that is uh, not going to work for the Ozbot, Obsbot because you have to plug this little dongle in to it. So I had to get this adapter for one of my lightning ports that then gives me uh, some USB ports and also still has the uh, a, a US, this is a USB uh, C there and it's like i got some uh, some spots for i guess for a flash card um so you might have to get something like this if your particular uh, mac only has lightning ports if you have an obs bot if you're going to use the remote now uh, if you're not using a remote control you can uh, you can plug it directly in uh but you still will need uh, a converter to go uh from uh usb c to um to uh, a uh, lightning uh connection uh so that's something to keep in mind too uh because a lot of these new macs are not coming with usb ports and they also don't come with uh, USB-C, which is really popular, which is what the Ozbot uses. Uh, so if you do have a Mac, uh, keep in mind, you will need some type of adapter 
to plug in. Uh, I bought two different ones. I found another one that was really uh, pretty cool. I'll show you, I'll leave links to both of these. This one I like too, because it has, it plugs in uh, directly to the side of the Mac into both of the lightning ports. And this one gives me three USBs and uh, one USB-C there uh, with three, um, with uh, three USB uh, threes, is it? Let's see here. Let's see. What's, what's it say? It says a USB three, three. Yeah, three USB threes and a, a small SD card reader and a micro SD card reader and one lightning port. So the nice thing about this is it doesn't have to be hanging off of anything. It literally plugs right into the side of the Mac. I'll put links in for uh, both of the adapters that I have for mine. Uh, the downside to this one is you can't power. So right now you can see with the adapter I'm using, I can also have power going to my Mac because my Mac does use the other lightning port uh, to power it. If I use this one, it's running everything off of the Mac's power. Uh, but the good thing there is the Mac does, uh, my current MacBook Pro has a really nice long battery life. So that's, uh, that works fine. Uh, with either one, but if, it, if it's something I'm concerned about uh, not having enough power, I'm gonna use the other adapter.